Well, 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 Rockstar. I didn't think it would happen. I didn't think you guys were capable of doing this. We're actually going to start this week on a positive note. The Chubarek, one of the new vehicles that came out this past week. Rockstar have done something with it that I don't think they've ever done in the past. I mean, this this is groundbreaking for them. On the Chubarek, you have the option to put these cardboard pieces on. And in real life, if you were to ever do that to a car, cardboard is freaking cheap. It shouldn't cost a couple of thousand dollars. But that's what you would have thought would have happened in GTA Online. You would have thought Rockstar would have made the cardboard options 10 grand for each one. But no! Rockstar have done the impossible and they made them reasonable. All of the cardboard cutouts are only $100, which is basically like a dollar in GTA. So you know what? Rockstar, I'll give you guys a round of applause because you did something that I didn't think would ever happen. Now that the positivity is out the way, I don't even know what the, where to begin. Do we talk about the server issue that happened two weeks ago? Because I didn't get to mention that last week. Do we talk about the fact that freaking they didn't even release all the cars? I just, I don't know, man. I guess since we're on the topic of cars, let's freaking continue it. You had one job, Rockstar. One freaking job. And that was to release all three of the unreleased vehicles that were remaining. The Chubarek, the Mitchell GT, and the Jester Classic. That's all you had to do. But no, you decided to hold off on the one vehicle that like everyone wants, the Jester Classic. Come on, man. Stop making us wait. Now, as for the cars that were released, honestly, I don't, I mean, there's not much to say. Rockstar, I want to, you know, point out that they did a fairly good job, at least with the Chubrek. We'll talk about the Midgley GT here in a second, but the Chubrek, you can see the dials. It's got some good customization. Like I said, it's got the positive Rockstar logic where they made the cardboard options really cheap. But, you know, speaking of those cardboard options, physics, Rockstar, physics matter. How can someone stand on a cardboard spoiler without breaking it? What is cardboard made out of in GTA Online? And then check out this magic trick. When you damage the cardboard bumpers, all you have to do is rotate the camera angle and the damage disappears. We're freaking Houdini now. How does that make any sense? And then the Mitchell e GT. Honestly, this one is just like, why, why is this even in the game? I think just the entire cars are Rockstar Logic. There's not anything specific. It's like 1.2 or $3 million. This thing's slower than the Chubarek, which is $100,000. It's in the sports classic class. It's not competitive with anything. It handles really badly. Customization is okay, I guess, but I just, I don't see why this car was added. Now, since I didn't get to do a Rockstar Logic episode last week, let's talk about the servers, man. I know it's been like a week and a half, but what the heck, Rockstar? A little rundown if you weren't paying attention or if you didn't log on to GTA Online. The servers went down, like, completely for over 24 hours. I don't know exactly how long they were down, but they were down for quite some time. No one could log in. Even the freaking social club was down, which is normally the one thing that stays up when everything else goes wrong. But even that went down. And the funny thing is, a couple of hours after it went down, Rockstar tweeted that they were looking into it. And then a couple of hours after they tweeted that, the Rockstar support page tweeted that everything was good. But no, it was not good because for another like 12 more hours, the servers were still down. But the problem that I have here, Rockstar, why couldn't you just tell us what's going on? Why you gotta be so secretive? I mean, literally, for probably 12 plus hours, there was nothing. Not on Twitter, not on their Facebook, not on the Rockstar support page. There was no information coming out explaining what was happening. And then finally, when they did fix it, they didn't even acknowledge it. They're like, here's the new event week stuff. Ignore what happened for the last 48 hours. You could have at least give us a little sentence in the newswire that said, hey guys, sorry, the servers went down. Some unexpected thing happened. You know what? We're going to be nice dudes because you guys wanted to play and you couldn't. 
Here's $200,000 for free if you log in. But no, we got nothing. <laughs> Moving on, going into some random Rockstar logics. How come NPCs can have cars in the back of the Wastelander, but we can't? What makes them so freaking special? Oh, this one's a good one. I just the, I, how does this even happen? All right. When you're in your car in free mode out in the world and you use your phone, you can use your phone in your car. It doesn't make you get out of your car to use your phone, but only in GTA line could something as simple as using your phone inside of your car be broken. If you go into your bunker and try the same thing, your guy has to get out of his car. Why does he need to do that? Why can my dude not use his phone in his own car in his bunker? This one's a classic. Look at these glass pillars here at the Maze Bank Tower. You can see through them because they are glass. But apparently glass in GTA Online doesn't work the same way it works in real life. If we throw a Molotov on the ground and it catches fire, and then we go to the other side of the glass pillar and look through, the fire has disappeared. Somehow, you can't see it. This one's actually kind of a cool Rockstar logic, and I'm sure if you're a good enough jet pilot, you could end up using this. But when your engine dies, in a jet, that doesn't actually stop you from flying. If you go 90 degrees, like on your side, and then you use the LB button or the RB button, whatever side you go on, to fly around, you can fly around for a decent amount of time longer. Now, I'm not a jet expert, but I don't think that's how it works. If your engine would die, I don't think you can just turn it sideways and then continue flying. Oh man, and then my favorite, this one, this one is just incredible. This person here is enjoying one of the movies in the theaters, because why not? They're bored, they're wanting to see something, but then he gets kicked out because the theater is closing for the night. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what kind of a joke is that? They don't even let you finish watching your movie in GTA Online. If that ain't the most classic of Rockstar Logics, then I don't know what is. But thank you all for watching this week's episode. If you have your own Rockstar Logic you want to submit, you can either leave it in the comment section or you can tweet it with the hashtag Rockstar Logic. Subscribe for these episodes every single or every other Sunday. But as always, I will see you guys in the next one.